Yay, it's time for favorite slash pan porn videos. So, I can't believe October is done. It's crazy to me. But this month, I had a lot of good stuff, so I'm excited to show you. Um, first of all, let's get pan porn out of the way. I finished a lot of skincare products this month, so I'm going to show you. And, uh, okay. So, I had two face wash. They're kind of disgusting. I have the Bior uh, Steam Activated Cleanser with Steam Active Beads in it. And this one is the Neutrogena Oil Free uh, Acne Stress Control. This one, this one is the self foaming one. And uh, I feel like self foaming products are always easier to finish up. And um, I use this one. And, because I always have multiple face wash in rotation. So it's not like I used up a lot of products this month. It's just they both got done simultaneously. And um, I got the steam activated cleanser when they had like a massive sale. So it was like this um, combined with a pack of the Bior nose strip for like two bucks. And it was something crazy like that. And this retails for I think $7. So it's a really good deal. And I like how it kind of had the cooling sensation when it's on my skin and I think it cleans alright there's nothing to write home about except for the cooling sensation I think that's fun but yeah I got uh, these are both done so yay oh and I'm done with the Bath and Body Works Signature Vanillas in Apricot it's a triple moisture body cream I really like this um, because it really moisturized my skin really well also, it just smells absolutely amazing. <sighs> yeah, I got this got done. I'm so excited that it came out with the holiday scent. Um, Twisted Peppermint, hello. But, okay. And also, I got done with my um, Avon's Solutions Plus Maximum Moisture. This got done surprisingly fast. Like, I had it for about a month, and it was done. I think the... And I still have the My Shell Serums, which I purchased like two or three months ago, still there. And I think the why I finished off this so really fast is because A, it smells amazing. And two, it feels so good going on that you just want to use a little bit extra. And I use it twice a day, so it got done. I had to stand it up like this because the little pump didn't go all the way to the bottom so I couldn't get all the bottom one out so I just like open it up like that and then try to you know like that I have like 30 backups so I'm good and then I have this Sesh Feet top coat and it I didn't finish this technically but look at it it's all like goopy and thick and you can't use it anymore um, I don't like using nail polish thinners because, hold on a sec, because I feel like um, they never really work that well, so, yeah. I don't think I will, I mean, I have a backup for the Sesh V top coat because I got it when it was on sale, but I don't think I'll repurchase that because you're paying $8 for it, well, that's how much it retails for it in my area. And you technically just get half a bottle. So it's, it's really expensive in my opinion. Next on my wish list, I'm thinking of trying the Sally Hansen Diamond Strength one. I've heard a lot of good stuff about that one. So, And then I got done with three um, mascaras. I've had them for a while. I just kind of didn't use it because I was using the Shiseido one. And then when I got done with the Sh Shiseido one, I just busted these out. And I use them in conjunction. This is the Revlon Beyond Natural uh, Defining Mascara. I like what well, it has a brush like. This. It's the rubber bristles. It has a little, it looks almost like a lash comb. And it really gives you that clean definition like it says. But it, I don't think it um, lengthened or volumize my lashes it's just combed it out and make it darker so it's a very very natural mascara it's great for people who already have like amazing lashes 
And then this is the Maybelline XXL Extensions Mascara, which you have step one, which is the primer, and you have step two, which is the mascara. And it has like a really kind of a like tapered brush bristles to it. So, um, the, I'm, I have a love-hate relationship with this one. I love the primer, especially when I use like a waterproof mascara first, and then I put the primer, and then I layer it with a volumizing mascara. It just gives me the perfect lashes. Like this adds a lot of length and volume to the lashes, to my lashes. But the mascara that it comes with just sucks. Like it makes my lashes look like like it will curl and then it will come down like that. So it's like an S shape. I don't like the mascara, but I love the primer. And then last but not least is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I have it in the Curve Brush one. It this just dried up and it started to smell funky. So I just threw it. I'm just like throwing this out. So, um yep so that's my pan porn uh, products for October and I'm gonna throw all this stuff out now. okay on to favorites um let me start off with uh, skin and hair care first up is the Avon a new rejuvenate night sapphire, sapphire emotion I did a separate review for this product alone Go ahead and check that one out. Amazing, amazing product. Use it every single day. And it just made the biggest difference in my skin. Right now I'm breaking out because I'm um, time of the month. And literally it is like we had one foot of snow overnight. It's like one day it's like perfect 70 degrees. The second day it was like one foot of snow. And I was like what the effing F. So now it's my like my skin is freaking out because it's not it doesn't know what's happening, so it's freaking out and then I'm on my period so it's like double whammy so, yep. Um, second up is the one and only argan oil. This is it says it's derived from Moroccan argan tree. Um, it's an oil treatment, and I got this from Sally's. I'm like here. The reason why I got this is because I'm not I'm not the kind of person who spends a lot of money on hair care, and I kept I kept hearing about like so many raves about the uh, Moroc the Moroccan oil the, in the blue bottle, but I'm, there's no way I'm gonna spend like seventy dollars for that. So I saw this and I heard a lot of good reviews about this, and I saw this in my Sally's and I I opened it and I smelled it and I was instantly drawn to the scent because it smells very it's that like unisex scent it doesn't smell overly floral it kind of has a musky scent to it but it's not too much it just smells so sexy and after I dye my hair darker my darker hair needs more help to create the shine like when you have lighter hair especially like blonde hair or like red hair it's very easy for your hair to look shiny but dark hair it's I guess it's more difficult for it to catch the shine so it needed a little bit more help and I definitely noticed that and my hair was kind of frizzy um, because it was like it looked frizzier because it was darker so I put that in my damp hair and then let it dry and then sometimes um, if I forget to do it I just use a teeniest amount when my hair bit between my hands and use on my hair when my hair is dry and it it just make my hair super shiny and smooth so, so I love that Okay, so next up, we have um, makeup products. Well, actually, one more skincare. The MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. Um, I always, like, stay up late and I eat a lot of sodium and rich food, so I always get puffy under my eyes. This one contains caffeine, so it depuffs and it kind of just smooths the whole area out so your concealer goes on a lot smoother. And um, I will do a, an overview on MAC skincare products products um, soon so stay tuned for that one okay and let's get on with uh, makeup um, first of all the the prestige total intensity eyeliner I have um, two colors this one is in this one is deepest black and this one is fierce blue they are literally so easy to work with. You basically just like, you don't even have to use any pressure. And then it goes on super dark. It's super smooth. Just go like that. 
and then it's waterproof. It stays on so well. Like, you have to give it a couple seconds to set, but once it sets, you are not going to be able to move it. And I'll show you, like, when I try to rub it later. And I got this at my Rite Aid, and they were, like, they're cheap. They're, like, four bucks each. And um, it, they remind me a lot of the MAC PowerPoint liner, which are fourteen fifteen now, I think. No, $15. $15. So, really like this. Um, with waterproof products, it's not recommended. It's not, it's not ophthalmologist approved to be put on the waterline because waterproof products are more drying than water resistant. So, it's totally up to you. Like, I put these on my waterline because I don't really care. But if you um, have sensitivity, you have sensitive eyes, or if you wear contacts, well, use it at your own discretion. Okay, next up, we have um, three lip products. First of all, it's the Jack Black Lip Balm. It's an intense therapy lip balm. I heard a lot of good stuff about this. So, it retails for $7.50. And oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's not sticky. It's not too thin. Because sometimes a lip balm can be like too thin and you're like, why the hell am I even wearing this? This goes on. It's so comfortable. And it keeps your lips so hydrated. And the moisturization lasts all day. So I love this. The This particular one that I'm using right now is Shea Butter with Vitamin E. And it has SPF 25 in it. So it's great. Love this. I, us I tend to use this... Um, like first thing in the morning and to get my lips ready for the lip products and then I'll also um, use it at night sometimes when I remember okay next up this is the Stila lip glaze stick the color is called blackberry it looks super scary but it goes on kind of sheer so it almost reminds me of Stila of uh, Clinique black honey and I have it on my, I used it as a liner on the outer rim of my lips today. So I just add a little bit more definition. So this is something that if you want to, um, if you want to add a little bit of color to your lips without making it look like I just ate a child kind of way, this is a great way to go. And it's very fall slash winter. And it's very moisturizing. I don't know if Stila still makes the lip glaze sticks. I'm not sure. But you might find them in their like discontinue or last call section. So they usually I got it in a pack, and this is um, my one of my favorite colors in the pack. So yep. And then um, this is the Revlon lip butter in berry smoothie, and this is what I have on my lips right now. And oh my gosh. Revlon really hit it out of the park with this one. Like with the lip butters. They are amazing. I like I really like their regular color burst line. Um but these are definitely my favorites from Revlon. It's very I'm gonna do a separate review on these because I have a lot of different colors from the line, but they are very pigmented, they're very moisturizing, and they are they have a really subtle shine to it. And there's a lot of colors to choose from. So I'm, I'm really glad that I got the Revlon one. And I really like the Berry Smoothie because it's almost like a My Lips But Better color. It just adds a little bit of that pink pop, but it's not like super bright. But you still get the color from it. So I really like that. Something that I really like is... I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video. But this is the Yardley Soap. This is a natural soap. It's in honeysuckle, um, honeysuckle citrus. It's a soap like that. I use this with my Salux. Um, this is the um, shower towel thing. And this is very kind of rough. Uh, so what I do is that I foam the soap up using this. And I kind of gently scrub my body. Don't use too much force because you are going to like freaking peel your skin off because this is really rough. So it just kind of acts as a gentle exfoliation for my body. And the soap, it I, I'm not really a huge fan of bar soaps because I usually find them drying. But this one has organic shea butter and honey, grapefruit, and bergamot extracts. 
and it has gently exfoliating orange peel and jojoba oil beads and I was reading the um, ingredients and they're all very moisturizing there's like there's not a lot of the harsh soap ingredients that are in the regular traditional soaps so I got this at Walgreens for like a dollar and it smells so fresh so clean I just think that the soap plus the towel will keep like just make my skin so soft and it's one of those things that you really need like gentle exfoliation like you really need that to get rid of any buildup of dead skin cells when it gets colder so you can get the Salix um, towel at any Asian supermarket um, I got mine for like four bucks so I really like this so yeah um, as far as fragrance go, I have two um, favorites. One is the Bath and Body Works one in Vanilla Bean Noel, and this is their body splash. Oh, this is when I just want like a very sweet vanilla, like like they call this gourmand scent, which is like foodie scent. Very holidayish, very like creamy so I really like this and one but that's more like casual on the days I want to feel more like grown up more sophisticated I use the Chloe it's very floral it has a strong rose scent to it and this is a per this is the fragrance that will stop people and make them ask me what I'm wearing like I have so many compliments and questions from people on what I would what I'm wearing when I wear this it works so well with my body chemistry but then again you have to make sure that the fragrance works well with your body chemistry because there are scents that I like it makes me swoon when other people wear it and then the second I put it on myself I'm like what the hell is this aka you know sh all Chanel fragrances like um the my coworker wore this um wore the Chanel um Chance I think it was oh Oh, fresh or a tundra I don't know but she wore one of the Chanel scents and it's freaking phenomenal it smells amazing on her I put it on myself and it literally smelled like B.O. I'm not even kidding it they were like you spray yourself with alcohol because that scent does not work for you but when I wear a Chloe like people would just they will be literally like running after me and asking me what I'm wearing. So I really like Chloe and that's one of my favorite fragrances of all time. I've just been wearing this um, extra lately because I don't know. I think when it gets colder, I am more like I notice scents more for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, that's my favorites and pan porn for October. And I'm sorry, this video is like forever and a day long. But um hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!